car wash who was brutally beaten is opening up tonight about how his life has changed on the eve of a court date for the fired worker accused of that attack. Action News reporter Cheryl Choden is standing by live in Sterling Heights tonight with a story you'll see only on 7. Cheryl? Well, Stephen, John Moss is still recovering. He's struggling. He says he is thankful to be alive and grateful for the outpouring of support, but he is angry that someone could do this. He was above me, like, going to finish me, kill me, for sure. John Moss is talking on camera for the first time about what happened on the night of March 16th as he was leaving his car wash in Sterling Heights. On surveillance video, you can see Moss leaving and then see two men going after him. A hard hit never fell before. I went down on the ground and it's so hard. Moss recognized the man who police say beat him with a piece of steel similar to this one. Moss says it was 19-year-old Johnny Alato, a car wash worker who was fired a few months before. He was bothering the customer, doesn't do the job. Moss says after he was hit two times, he staggered to his home across the street and was hit again. Hit me again. I didn't see him. And uh, Michelle, she screamed at him, he left. He's calling me, screaming, screaming, help, help, call him my name. It was awful. Michelle Moss can't hold back the tears when she thinks of that night and what happened. It's just disbelief that somebody you knew, somebody that was close to you, that you, you, you tried to help him, and that's going to turn around and do something so awful and want to kill him. He ruined my life. I never felt like that before. I'm so angry, upset. I can't do nothing. I got a business to run. I can't do what I want to do. The day after our first story, Johnny Alato was arrested. His preliminary exam is tomorrow. There are two men seen in that surveillance video. Police are still trying to find the second suspect. I think if somebody knows who that other young man is, they should turn him in too because he's going down a bad path. Now. John Moss will be at the preliminary exam tomorrow. He will be called to testify unless it is waived. He says tonight that he believes if his wife did not hear him calling for help, he wouldn't even be here to tell his story. Reporting live in Sterling Heights, I'm Cheryl Choden, Channel 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Cheryl. Johnny Alato is now telling police who the second suspect is. Shortly after his arrest, he asked for a lawyer. Now, once that happened, police could no longer ask any more questions. Tomorrow morning's hearing is at 9 at Sterling Heights District Court.